Now we've already seen examples of going ahead and querying within a topic controller or even within a root and then passing this data down to our views. But at some point you probably want to start working with models which will give you the ability to add helpful methods onto these models and just really clear up what you're doing uh, again within your views or within your controllers. So in this part, we're still going to be looking at topics. We're still going to be using the similar data that we have here, but this time we're going to fetch all of our results as a class, which will then create objects for us that we can uh, work with a little bit more conveniently. So let's start by just taking a look at a simple example, and then we'll go ahead and switch this over. So again, we would do something like topics. We would go ahead and access the container, access the database, and we would perform a query, maybe to select everything from our topics table and normally what we would do is we would go ahead and say fetch all pdo fetch object not forgetting to go ahead and import pdo just at the top or use a backslash just there so now we would return a view so we would say this container view we would render this out pass in our response object and we would go ahead and choose a view in this case it's topics and then slash index.twig, passing down them topics. So we can just use a compact on topics. So over here, we would go ahead and list through these. So let's just very quickly do this and then we'll switch this out. So we're going to in here say for topic in topics. And of course you can extend your base template here if you wanted to. And then we're gonna go ahead and say N4. And let's uh, go with that example where we had a topic div and inside of here, maybe an H3 with that topic title. So topic dot title. So if we just come over to our page here, we get a list of them topics. So now what we want to do is rather than pull these down as an object, we want to pull them down as a model. It will still be an object, but we'll use a class to do this. And even if this doesn't make sense initially, uh, once you start building larger applications with slightly more complex data from your database, this will really help you out. So what I'm gonna do is over in my app directory, which remember is where we're auto loading everything uh, from with PSR4, we're gonna create a models directory. And typically what you would do for any kind of resource you're working with, whether it's users, topics, anything like that, you would add a model for this. And this just means that you have uh, potentially convenient methods on this model. So let's do this, we'll see how we get on, and then we'll go ahead and look at some more examples uh, within this section. So I'm going to create a topic model in here. And again, this is going to be under, if we just set the namespace to app models, create our topic class, and pretty much that is it for now. So this could now potentially be a model. So if we come over to topic controller, what we can actually do now is fetch as a class and give the name of the class. Now, because we have this namespace, we can do something like app models topic, or it's a little bit more convenient to say use app topic or app models topic up here and then use that class like so that we saw earlier to put in the full string to that. So what we now have, if we just come over to our view and refresh, we have exactly the same result. So what has actually happened here? Well, if we just go ahead and kill the page here and do a var dump on topics, Let's just see what we get. And we can wrap these in pre-tags just so we can see this uh, a little bit better, uh, depending on uh, if you have X debug installed. So let's give this a refresh. And you can see here, we now have an array of five items, but each of these is now a topic model with properties set on this model or class or object with our database data. Now this means that what we can do is inside of our model, create any methods we like to do whatever we want. So uh, really you can just do anything in here now. Now by this, I mean, let's say for example, over in topic, you had a some kind of accessor for your title. So maybe get title like so. Let's just do a really quick example here because in the next part, we're gonna look at adding methods to models and look at a slightly different example. Now in this case, when we use uh, get class or fetch class and use this topic model, all of the properties will be set for this. So we'll have a public ID, a public title, and any other data that you have inside of your topic. So in this case, let's just look at a really simple example and say return this title. Now, all that's gonna do is return the title. So very, very simple example. 
But what we can do now is over in our view, switch this over. So we could say topic, get title like so, and that will actually now have exactly the same effect. So you can now add any methods you want to this class. And this is just typically what you would do. Uh, and uh, we're going to be looking at a couple of useful examples in the next couple of parts. But that really is how easy it is if you're using PDO and you want to use a separate model and perhaps add any methods onto here. Now that's kind of a useless example because we know that we have a property. So it's really a lot easier just to say topic.title. Uh, but what we're going to be doing in the next video is looking at a user's example and how we might create a method on a model to kind of tidy up our views a little bit more. So let's head over to that part. Now we know how to create models and use them. We're going to take a look at that.